Hello and welcome to day 119 in this quest for a 2000 rapid chess rating on chess.com. Okay, let's find an opponent and begin here. Will we have the white or the black pieces today? All right, looks like black and we're playing at 1827. So this could be a tough game. So we'll play the Karo Khan, which is what I've been uh, trying to play in this op or in this uh, series since game 100 or around there. All right, so they're attacking. Uh, we'll just go ahead and capture there. All right, now, you know, what do we want to do? Normally, you would just move up here and attack. Um, trying this option. So let's see what they decide to play here. Interesting. A retreat, trying to keep material on the board. Okay. So now, hmm, we really got to figure out how, you know, what direction we want to head in here. Do we play this pawn and block our bishop in? Uh, we don't really want to do that. Um, hmm. And if we bring our bishop out, then the pawn could attack it. Um, but you know, maybe we could do that because then we'll have this pawn uh, moved up here and that'll create a little bit of a weakness, but we'll have to waste time retreating. So then, you know, where do we retreat to after that? Okay, well... Do we push forward here and attack? You know, maybe that's an option. Hmm. So if we go there, he could swing down here and attack us. Um. Hmm. So yeah, I'm burning too much time. Uh, and I don't quite have these openings down yet. So the option is an immediate attack here, but then that could leave us open to a check. Uh, and then what would be best? Do we just go ahead and attack with our bishop? All right, we'll go ahead and do that. and just see how they respond here. All right, now they could just check here. Okay, so they go ahead and attack. Um, do we trade queens off? That is the question. Do we trade off queens, leaving their king stuck in the center Hmm, if we don't, they could come after ours. So if we take, um, then what? Do we pile on the pressure? All right, let's go ahead and do that. Take, we'll pile on the pressure on this pawn. Um, now should we immediately go after it? Hmm. Hmm. We have to figure out what to do with our bishop as well. And we could just go here. 
So we'll go ahead and do that, put pressure on that. Okay, so now um, we can go after it like that. All right, and then we bring our bishop up. Hmm. Hmm. All right. Okay, so now do we bring our other knight up here? You know, is that a possibility? Bring our other knight attacking this? Maybe, maybe. But the problem is, if we go here, and then he attacks us, and we atta we take this, then where do we go after that? All right, let's put more pressure on. Put more pressure on. Now, what can we try to do here? Do we take that? Hmm, probably need to develop another piece here. and get castled as well. So, do we want to go there? Hmm. All right, let's go ahead and do that. That'll at least open up our rook, prevent, um, well, let's see here. Now we could just develop our bishop. Do we bring up the other knight? Hmm, bring up the other knight. Or we just go there, threaten to check him. All right. Okay, so we have an attack. Um, now what? Now what? Do we go here? Um, or do we 
go over here, threaten to pick this off? You know, or should we just check the king? You know, maybe we do that first. Oh, or do we just take the pawn now? No, if we take the pawn, the bishop captures and we try to attack both of them, the pawn can just protect that bishop. Um, but then our other knight could jump into the game attacking the bishop. Uh, does that work? That is the question. Okay. Does that work? Okay, let's take a, a look at this because this is going to be a game deciding move here. If we take, they take, pawn protects the bishop, um, our knight jumps up there to attack the bishop, then the rook can swing over Oh man, all right, this is getting hard to see. If we take, bishop takes, rook moves up, pawn protects, the other knight moves in, but then he could just attack our All right, let's go there. At least line this bishop up here. All right, now we could check. But then what are we going to do? Hmm. All right, well, if we go there, uh, this is pretty tough. So we could threaten to go here and get rid of his bishop pair. And now we pretty much have to go here to protect. So we'll play that. Okay, so now do we block? But if I go there, he captures, I capture, his other bishop comes in and starts moving. Hmm. All right. Well, I guess we're going there. Try and get rid of the, well, his bishop pair and mine, I guess. So here comes his pawn forward probably next. And he's going to have a pawn majority over here that's going to be tough to handle. All right, well, what now, what now? I have one move, pretty much. I have to move back. So let's go ahead and retreat. Uh, it's not looking too good. Yeah, at least if this pawn moves, we can pick off this other one. So I probably need to develop my bishop. 
and I can go ahead and castle perhaps or I just keep my king in the middle and move now the problem is if he tries to move here so I probably need to hmm keep his knights out of my game uh, all right if he jumps in here all right let's do that we'll try and keep his his knights from jumping forward Now that could be an issue. Hmm. So that's not looking so good. Um, maybe we develop the other knight help guard everything here you know if his knight jumps forward we're gonna have to give up our bishop for his knight but then at least we'll isolate this pawn but then he has this pawn majority over here we need to work on getting our bishop uh, well getting this rook out connecting our rooks so, I don't know, it's tough when you're playing a, a player that's almost 200 rating points higher than you. So, I don't know. I'm, I think I'm able to keep up you know, with the 1,600 players and some of the 1,700 ones, but, you know, I need to improve so I can play better. Well, I need to get these openings down a little better, figure out what to do in these openings. All right, man, he is really piling everything up here. Um, hmm. All right, what can we do? We could attack him by moving our knight forward, perhaps, but then he could just retreat back. Uh, At least we go ahead and attack him move our knight forward some problem is uh, I probably need to get my king over here where it can help guard against these past pawns and he's putting a lot of pressure on right here you know he could just at some point move this pawn forward just start bringing these pawns up causing problems Hmm. All right. Well, at least he retreated back. So that gives me some time here. Um, now what? Now what? Now he could think about 
jumping down the other way you know over here um, Do I start pushing forward? I mean, should I go here? Possibly. Well, then he could just move there. Hmm. All right. Well, what do we have? I mean, what is possible here? We're running out of time, and that's not good. So if we go here and he jumps down here with check, we can capture, capture. We can move this pawn forward. Um, man, our king is stuck. We need to develop this. So, all right, we'll go there. We're just burning through too much time burning through too much time. All right, all right. Now, do we swing this knight back around and then here? Uh, but he could just push forward and stop us, but then we could Ah, we can't, well, we could go after that. All right, I probably need to move my king, but where, where is best to move this king? All right. Hmm. Do I move the king over to here? Then he could start lining up on this open file. You know, maybe I should just castle. But I probably need to stay in the center. So let's go there. Uh, now I'm just low on time, so it's not, not looking the best here. Hmm. All right, well. If I... Hmm. Do I take with the pawn or with the rook? All right, I guess we're playing that way. All right, well now, hmm. Well, maybe we have to go that way. Well, I don't know. I'm trying to hang in there, but uh, it's a tough one. Okay. This rook is in a little predicament. Maybe I just attack his bishop now. Attack his bishop, then 
bring my other knight down here. So we'll go ahead and do that. And just to go there. All right, well, we're hanging in there, but the time is growing uh, less and less. <laughs> So now, maybe we can bring our rook to the open file if they don't do it first. Okay, so they are going to try and bring this over, maybe where it can pile up on... Well, we could just go after this knight now. Um... Hmm, he wants to try and get a piece in here. So let us go there. And then maybe we can push forward here, attacking his knight that's here. But I have to watch out um, because, you know, if he is able to open his bishop up on a line here and target my knight, uh, that could cause problems. Hmm. All right, if if he jumps his other knight forward, we could fork both of them with the rook, but then he could jump down into the game. You know, he can go for a check, but right now we have three pieces guarding this d6 square, so that's good. Um, I probably need to bring my king over. Bring my king over to help stop these pawns. All right. Where is he going? He could go here. He could push this pawn. If we attack him immediately, uh, then what? Hmm. Well, let's drive him away. Drive him away. You know, what now? What now? He might end up lodging this knight in here and piling up on this. Now, if he retreats back to here, well, then we could just put more pressure on. Yeah, but now he's going to be able to jump into here. So... What do we do? Do we go here and threaten to fork and attack his knight at the same time? Uh, 
All right, pawn or rook? Probably the rook. We want to activate that rook. Okay, now should we just attack? Um, hmm. You know, do we get behind? He's just going to jump here. So we'll go there for now. But he'll probably just jump over here. You know, and then where is he going to go? All right. Well, now we could just attack him. Uh. All right, so we'll do that. All right. Um, we'll go there. Attacking. Problem is, this pawn is going to start marching. And it's not going to be good. So we have to blockade that pawn. Now, I'm so low on time, I might, if I'm not careful, I'll make a time blunder. Ah, his bishop could try and work its way down in here. So I need to get my king over here to try and stop this pawn. Uh, it's not looking too good here. Not looking too good. Hmm. All right, I'm going to try and hang in there, but I don't know. I think the time trouble is probably going to get me here. Um, all right. Oh, man. If I go here, he can attack me. Hmm, now he can just jump down here and check me. Okay, so he's checked me. I got to go here. Uh, 
Uh, but now he can jump down here and come after me. That's not looking so good. Ah. All right, I guess we're going there. Hmm. have to figure out how yeah, I'm just so low on time I don't this is going to be really hard to hold this so what can we do we have to keep this rook controlling this open file now there's no way to get my king into the game this knight is not doing much um, Man, what can we do here? Um, this is looking really awful here. He could just attack me, you know, threaten to trade off material. Man. All right. Yeah, now he'll just try and go swing over on the other side. Ugh. Just really running out of options here. Running out of options. Okay, so now he's just trying to run me out of time. Um, do I go here? No, because then he could just go there. Or Yeah, all right, so I'm out of time. Uh, there was just too much going on here to only have seconds left. All right, well, let's do a game review here. You know, and that's one of the issues when you play a higher rated opponent. They can just give you a lot of problems and, you know, it's going to take longer. I, I, it'll just take longer for you to calculate the uh, all the variables. So we both played at 83. He played at 83.7 versus my 83. Um, we each had one great move. Uh, it looks like I played 13 of the best moves, and he played 9. Um, and we both played at a 1900 level, although I, I don't know if you can see that because my, uh, my image is probably covering the information at the bottom corner of the screen here. Oh, we both had one blunder. Interesting. So we'll have to see what those blunders are. My opponent had 6 inaccuracies versus my 5. He only had one mistake where I had four, and he had two missed opportunities. So the game was close, but the time just got me. Uh, it looks like I even, uh, well, no, they had an advantage there. They had a big advantage early in the game, like a pretty much a winning advantage. All right, the review. So we played the Carol Khan. Uh, they played it. You know, a little bit differently than what I've seen in the past. Usually they'll capture this knight. Uh, and that way, when you recapture, uh, you have a solid structure here to castle your, excuse me, your king behind. But my opponent avoided trading material, uh, which a lot of times a higher rated opponent will do that. He'll just try and keep as many pieces on the board as possible and just... Um, you wait until the lower rated opponent will make a mistake. All right, so continuing on, uh, I was left with this, uh, you know, down a pawn. I was left down a pawn, so maybe I didn't quite play that accurately. 
Uh, it did not like this bishop to a4 move. Instead, the recommendation was centralizing my bishop. All right, which, yeah, that probably would have been better. So, uh, let's see. And then I retreated this bishop back. So, I don't know, I can see in this game I moved too many pieces uh, multiple times without developing all my pieces. So, I would say that's one mistake that I was making in this game is uh, not getting all my pieces developed. All right, so, yeah, and then here we have capture. Now he has space on the queen side. So, that was the blunder here. Now the game's about even after this blunder. So, you know, we'll take a look at that in the analysis here. This was the best move to capture with the rook. So capture, capture. Oh, it didn't like that move. And it did not like this move as well. Apparently I should have brought my knight down here first. Hmm. All right. Because then I might have had the option to jump my... Uh, knight up here into the center and attack the bishop instead of here on the side. All right, so yeah, it looks like we had a few mistakes and missed opportunities here. All right. So yeah, it says this is a great move, but I had to go there to stop him from just pushing that pawn to promotion. All right, so and the game is about even here. White has a slight edge, you know, with that extra pawn. Uh, and then it did not like this move. Apparently, I should have just dropped my um, rook back here and put pressure on this pawn. All right. Hmm. Yeah, and, you know, maybe if I wasn't so low on time, I might have been able to figure that out. But when I was just trying to rush and not make any blunders that were too bad. Uh, yeah, so here's a mistake. I should have moved over here uh, because now they can, ch uh, my opponent can check me, which they do, but now that's a mistake apparently. So, uh, you know, the game ended here where I just ran out of time. So let's take a look at the analysis and see what, what can be learned here um, from the beginning. So we played the Karakhan, uh, which is e4, c6, and then d4, they grab the center. We counterattack, fighting for the center uh, and attacking their e4 pawn. So, you know, this is a common move. You know, they could move to c3. You might see that more often, or even e5, the advanced variation. Uh, apparently, this is the modern variation, uh, where... By moving here, you uh, don't block the C pawn, but you know, normally it'll transpose anyway because the best move is to just go ahead and capture, knight captures, and that's about the same way it would go if you played knight to C3 first anyway. So now, it looks like bishop to F5 is the best move, uh, but instead I played the third best, knight to F6, uh, thinking that if they captured, I could recapture with the E pawn, uh, then develop my bishop and have a strong defensive pawn formation here to uh, protect my king if I castle kingside. But the game uh, didn't go in that direction. Instead, my opponent retreats back, which is a book move, and it looks like I should have grabbed space by playing H5, uh, which I did not do. Uh, instead, I played c5, which is also an excellent move. And now we have uh, capture. So here, the best thing is to capture the queen, which I did. So now their king is stuck in the middle and cannot castle. But of course, uh, with the queens off the board, that's not as dangerous. So now, looks like e6 is the best move. Hmm. Yeah, and that's probably what I should have played. But I was worried about just blocking my bishop in. Um, and it says this is still an excellent move, but e6 would have been better. 
uh, because now this pawn is a little bit weak here. Um, you know, I thought maybe they would just, my opponent would just attack it. All right, so, you know, b4, an excellent move. It looks like I should play a5 here, uh, although now the computers say knight to c6 would have been better. Hmm. So, knight to c6, I mean, I guess we could take a look at that. Here, they would attack. Uh, it looks like a3 is the best move. Um, then what? Bishop to e7, h5 or a5. You know, h5 threatens to chase the knight. Um, a5, you try and target these pawns. So, I don't know, we'll look at the best moves. Although now it might change its mind, the computer. No, it says that's best. So here the recommendation is bishop to d3 and then let's see if the computer changes its mind nope uh, and now b6 or a5 i don't know maybe i would play a5 but this does allow um, the pawn to push forward with b5 but apparently that puts the game in black's favor here if they attack my knight Rook to b1 apparently is better. Uh, but now I could just capture. Uh, apparently just developing is better. Bishop to e7. So anyway, you get the idea. This is how the game could have gone. Uh, but, you know, here black is just down a pawn. Um, I don't know. I'm not going to drag this out too long so let's get back to the game so b4 i played a5 uh they just fortify with c3 which is best uh, and now it looks like it's best to just go ahead and capture so i do not do that now the computer changed its mind saying this is a better move um, and bishop to d2 is best so capture capture uh and now what bishop to g4 check um, although now it's saying knight to c6 is best so yeah apparently i should have played knight to c6 but i was worried that you know maybe they would pin my knight to the king um, but then i guess i could just break the pin by playing this d7 bishop to d7 move later so let's look at that so we pile up on this pawn Oh man, the computer is saying that knight to f3 is the best move here. Knight to f3. So just ignoring this pawn here. Well, you're counterattacking this pawn. So knight at d takes. Um, now what? Bishop captures is the second best move, but even better is pinning. So now this knight is no longer protecting the knight that's under attack. So, oh man, rook captures, threatening their rook. So then if they capture, um, we capture, and then what now knight captures um bishop captures oh but then we have this and huh but i don't know the game is um it's pretty interesting here but we have to watch out for this knight. So what would be best? It looks like bishop to d7 attacking here. Now it's saying king to e7 would have been better. You know, just centralize the king and get our other rook out. All right. 
Well, so if we play that, you're looking at rook to e1 check, uh, bishop blocking, bishop to d5, threatening to capture and give uh, black an isolated pawn. So what is this move? Knight to c3 check. Huh. How does that even work? Or knight, or sorry, bishop takes f2. So we could just grab a pawn here. Um, but then there's this weird move. Knight to c3. Bishop captures. And then, oh, the knight or the rook would pin. Huh. So that is interesting. See if it likes that move the best. Yes, it says that's a brilliant move because after capture, rook to d8, pinning, king over to e2, I'm saying it would be even better to just take that pawn. But, you know, we have to capture anyway. So capture... Um, capture and f6 blocking that bishop in um, king over to f1 pinning this bishop so we have the bishop pair but we're down a pawn okay so sorry that was a long ver sideline variation so back to the game. I played bishop to d7. They attack my unprotected knight, and I go the wrong direction. So apparently bishop to e6 would have been better. Uh, and now best would be just developing. Uh, and f6 is the second best move. Apparently computer likes that better. But you'd think they could just chase my knight away. And that's the best move. Chasing the knight. Oh, but then we go after the bishop that way. Um, hmm. Or we go forward here. But it looks like either way we're giving up this pawn. So, capture. Capture. Um, you know, they could capture here, but... Let's see. Rook to e1 is best. Knight to c3 check. Oh, now it doesn't like that move. So, huh. I mean, we'd be able to pick off this piece, I guess. Computer actually likes bishop to e7 better. So bishop to e7. Knight takes e5. Um, knight to c3 check now. See if it still likes that. Um, king attacks. Knight takes b5. And it looks like a4 is a better move. a4, knight to c7 to help protect. c6, and then we just push forward here. Um, rook at a to b1, and we pick this off. All right, so anyway, another line that could have played out. So let's get back to the game. Uh, we check with our bishop. They go in the wrong direction, apparently. It looks like it would have been better to go that way. And then what? Then what? Knight to c7. Just retreat back. Hmm. <coughs> mm. Excuse me. Okay. So, 
here oh man it's almost a plus well plus one and three quarter advantage to white you know we would retreat back uh, then they develop their other knight uh, anyway let's get back to the game king moves to the center we retreat but now it doesn't like that it says it would have been better if we move forward and check and i thought about this in the game uh, this move but it looks like you know my opponent could just go back here and guard the pawn um, they probably wouldn't want to give up their bishop pair so then what now knight up to c6 attacking although it's protected by the bishop so knight to f3 oh and now they recommend castling long oh well now that's the third best move apparently f6 just fortifying this pawn right here and computer is saying castling long is best again because we well, we put some pressure on this, although the knight is protecting it. Okay, so in the game, I retreat back. They attack, I defend. Um, they centralize their rook. An inaccuracy, apparently bringing the knight up immediately would be better. Um, so here we pin the bishop. And better would have been what? Knight to b5. So it would have been better to bring the knight up. Hmm. Well, you know, maybe at some point uh, the knight would hold the pawns back along with the bishop. So that does look better. And now a3 to prevent the knight from jumping forward anymore. Um, bishop to e7. And then, oh, well, now the computer's saying that's an inaccuracy. And it would have been better to just immediately bring the knight up. So doing that, um, king moves out of the way of the rook, lining up on my king. Now bishop to e7 to block an attack here. Um, hmm, computer also likes this knight centralizing. Okay, so in the game, we were at this point. The rook centralized. I pinned his bishop. You know, he captures. But this just allows me, after a recapture, uh, allows him to push his pawns forward, chasing my knight and grabbing the initiative. And now it's plus almost two and a half uh, in favor of white. So the king moves out of the way of the rook, although... Computer says it would have been better to centralize the king, which is a good strategy in the end game to get the king in on the action. Um, you know, even though it's still a middle game, but the queens are off the board, so there's not as much danger. All right, so did not like that. Apparently, I should have moved my king off of the line of the rook. Um, so the knight jumps forward. So does mine, but apparently it would have been better to bring the bishop up, uh, which we do eventually, I believe. So now we attack, they retreat. Better would have been to bring the rook to the open file. So if that happened, rook to the open file, uh, well then we would pick that off, which my opponent obviously didn't want and then they would recapture um, but then what mm, now the recommendation is bishop to g7 lining up on the unprotected knight and possibly on the rook uh, and now the computer changed its mind saying it's better to play e7 uh, because that would cover this outpost this knight probably wants to jump here and then down to here and the bishop could capture that knight so you know that's one reason i tried to stay guarding this so now what knight to d2 jumping the other knight you know getting both knights ready to control this um what now knight to f8 so there Knight at D to E4. The knights are going to try and maybe jump in here. 
knight up to e6 and knight to d oh sorry that one <laughs> so it does recommend that we capture uh rook captures and then rook to a6 interesting so here we would have a capture capture but man a dangerous passed pawn here um knight to d5 king where oh they recommend d7 letting that pawn fall over there hmm or even d8 but i don't know i would probably try and do that guard this pawn it doesn't like that. It's saying a5 would have been better. a5. Um, here they could just capture. But apparently it's not worried about that. It likes... Uh, that move. And then we capture... Um, rook to b1... King to f7 now. And then rook captures. So now they have two pass pawns. So I don't know. That looks pretty dangerous. Um, so in the game, bishop to d2. I finally developed that bishop a little bit. Um, king moves up you know, out of the line of the rook. And this blunder move. So rook to a3 would have been better, apparently. You know, maybe getting ready to... Well, here the rook, another one could double up and they could try and push these pawns. Or from here the rook could swing in towards the middle or wherever else you want to reposition it. Um, so after that, what? Knight to c7 is recommended. So maybe threatening to move up here and attack. Now g4. Although here it's saying that might be better. Attacking our knight. Rook at A to D8. And now G4 again. G4. Um, H6. Now they're recommending bishop to C3 as well. Uh, anyway. A6 was played. And that just lets me grab... The pawn, so now material is even, but this strong pawn majority, you know, that ended up being the issue in the end game. So capture, capture. Uh, and here, apparently, I should have retreated back that way. Then g4 or h4. So let's say they play that. Is the computer going to say, no, it doesn't want that? Now it actually does like that move. So here, um, huh, interesting. Knight to c6. Just pile up on this pawn. Oh, the recommendation is king to e6. Apparently that gives black a slight edge. And then, what, knight back to g3? Uh, anyway, the game could have gone in that direction. So instead, I retreat back. Um, they line up on these pawns and on my rook. Uh, so I attack, and apparently that's a blunder. It would have been better to go here. Oh, yeah. That is a blunder because they could have just picked this off, you know, and then if I got their rook, they could recapture with their knight. Although, I mean, I guess I could, well, I don't know. We'll have to take a look at that. So this is what is recommended. Knight to b8. Then what, g4 or knight at f to d2? Um, 
And apparently this would keep the game somewhat even. But after this move, uh, they could have just picked off the pawn. So grab the pawn. Uh, then what? I mean, what if I did that? I guess that doesn't work. Um, because they could attack with check. So the best thing now is just rook to b8 apparently. Uh. Yeah, so I guess another time mistake. You know, maybe I was thinking that, uh, here, let's go back. That I already made this move, which I hadn't made yet, of course. So they retreat, not wanting to give up their bishop. Um, finally, I protect this pawn by dropping that knight back. Uh, and then we just maneuver around here. Um, at this point, the game is pretty close. So let's play this out a little further. What should I have done here? Apparently, I should have immediately attacked that knight. Hmm. All right, so now I do attack the knight, and it does like that. So the pawn is moving forward. I have to stop it. Um, immediately jumping that knight forward would have been better than this. Um, I should have gone all the way back and attacked here. You know, I don't know. It's not looking too great here. So that is a mistake. So looks like this would have been better. Just pile the pressure up here. Now h4, rook to c2. So h4, let's see if that's what they recommend. No, rook to c2. Rook to c2. Huh. It says I can capture here. So if I capture, it says that's an inaccuracy now that this pawn will be able to just push forward. Oh, but you know, if I push forward, or if they push forward, I have to capture. Uh, rook captures. And now what? Um... Rook to d7. Although now it wants me to just throw this forward. Rook to c5. Um, but where is this knight going? Hmm. King attacks. Um, Rook to a5, rook to b7, bishop to e3. So yeah, this would have been a better outcome than you know, what happened in the game, I guess. Get off of this line. Uh, although now it's saying I should have brought my bishop up. You know, if we go here, um, now we have what rook to c7. Huh. Anyway, let's see. Let's look at the final moves of the game. So the knight jumps in there, causing all kinds of problems. And now better would have been to go here. But then what? What do they recommend? Bishop to g5 or bishop to e3. Bishop to e3. Let's see if that, now it's saying that's the best move. And then, what, rook to b5? Um, bishop to a7. Knight captures. Rook captures. And then what? 
king up to d7. Rook takes a6. What if we got, what if we're checked? If we have this check move on our king, then what? Hmm. Says that rook captures pawn is best. You know, but then we are going to Huh. All right, hold on. Rook takes a6. And then rook takes b7. So what if they do that first? Why is this a blunder? Because, oh, because we just pick off the rook. Okay. All right. Yeah, so that would have been best. Uh, rook captures bishop to c5. And then, what, rook to b8 to try and hold this pawn. But now we have this dangerous passed pawn. At least we can have a pawn majority over here. But the king starts getting involved. Um, you know, we swing over here apparently. And uh, rook to a7. Rook to e6. Man. Um, anyway, that is how the game could have gone. I better. Uh, wrap this video up so you're not falling asleep out there <laughs> all right so in the game i move here they attack although you know, what is the better move bishop to e3 apparently so after this rook moves up but then uh, after here and here we run out of time so apparently the game is you know pretty even they, white has a slight edge um, now they recommend rook to b5 so rook to b5 um, although here rook to d4 now it's saying that that's even better rook to d4 well then you know if they capture and we capture now we have an isolated pawn here um, Knight to c5, bishop to d6, um, bishop up to d2 to guard this pawn. But then we're able to capture here. And also it's saying that maybe it was better to do that than if we capture, uh, what do they do? king up to d3 to go after this but yeah that would have been a better outcome but you know as i was so low on time ugh, where were we at here yeah i just ran out of time here in this position all right well uh <laughs> Thank you if you stuck around for the entire video. Please like and subscribe if you haven't already. Feel free to leave comments with whatever you'd like to say. Uh, thank you for watching and have a super chess day.